All right, we use it all the time, we need it, uh, we never feel like we have enough of it, but how much do you really know about your money, what you're doing with it, what you should be doing with it, and how to save it the right way? All week we've been getting help from the pros to help you better understand what you're going to experience before all kinds of different types of appointments. And today we are all about money. Shane Tenney with Spa Dameron Tenney is here this morning with some do's and don'ts before you meet with a financial planner. Good morning, Shane, how are you? Morning, Kristen. I'm glad to have you here. We love it when you come because you explain things in a very easy to understand way. Before we get to your two do's and your two don'ts, um, I'm sure you experience all the time with those first time meetings, people just really don't know where to start. You know, it, it can be daunting. And I think one of the easiest ways to just delegate some of the financial stress is to hire uh, a financial planner. Mm -hmm. And we know that all around North and South Carolina, there's people who are great at working hard and at making money and not great at managing money mm -hmm. because it can feel intimidating. Maybe they don't have enough time. It can be boring. Yeah. Um, but research shows over and over that people who work with a certified financial planner feel twice as confident about their financial security as those who are trying to do it alone. Um, so with that said, to your point, it can feel, um, there can be fear, there can be yeah. shame, there can be embarrassment coming in to meet and talk about money with a professional because sometimes you don't understand the concepts, you yeah. don't even understand the vocabulary. That's but true. But I guess I would just say that we know that, we try to make it easy, um, we want everybody to feel comfortable and we're going to help you find a way to get where you want to go. Well, you have two do's for us when we're going to meet with a financial advisor. You say the first one is to make a list of goals and questions. Yeah, I think the, the two things that would be helpful when you're coming in to meet with a professional financial planner is to spend a little time in advance thinking about what you want and what you have. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of what you want, talking with your spouse, your significant other, your partner, if you're, if you're doing this together, thinking about what, what are you wanting to accomplish? Mm -hmm. What are the questions you have? What are the things you're afraid of or concerned about? Just the, wh what are you hoping to get out of having someone point you in the right direction? Mm -hmm. The second thing to do is kind of make a list of what you have. Right, uh, what you have going on financially. That's exactly right. So what do you have in terms of income? What do you have in terms of expenses? Certainly what you have in terms of savings or investments, things like that, and certainly what you have in terms of debts. Right. Um, knowing and or at least sketching out a high level picture will help that professional know not only where you want to go, but also kind of what you have to work with and maybe what some of the obstacles are to get in there. Yeah, and that kind of falls into your what not to do. The first one you say is don't try any last minute fixes. People think, oh, I'll, I'll fix it, and they won't know that that's what happened. Yeah, that's exactly right. I was talking with a colleague the other day, and we said, you know, uh, coming to see a financial planner is probably not terribly different than someone wanting to work on their physical health <laughs> yeah. and hiring a personal trainer or a fitness coach. And, and, you know, the day before you're going maybe to, to work with that personal trainer, uh, you, you may think, all right, you know, I got to put my best foot forward. Let me do 200 crunches and, you know, 50 burpees and that sort of thing. Yeah. Of course, y you may end up messing something up before you even get there. Right. Um, uh, of course, you also wouldn't want to go to uh, Mason's Milkshake Bar <laughs> and binge out with your buddies on beer and pizza or milkshakes right. before going in to meet with a personal trainer because, you know, that's not just not going to give you the right start. And so I think some people coming to meet with a professional yeah. financial planner feel like, all right, I better pay this off or refinance or reallocate or deal with these stock options. And, and the truth is the person you're going to meet with has more expertise than do you it. do. Yeah. Th they may be able to give you different counsel than you were going to take. I have like 20 seconds left. You also say don't go splurge on something before they come see you because then that's another thing you got to fix. Exactly. If you want a boat, if you're looking for a vacation home, if you're wanting to do something to bring, bring that goal to them. Let them help counsel you on the best way to get there. It's such good advice. Let's go ahead and put all the information up on the screen so that you can get in touch with Shane if you need or want to. We appreciate you coming and helping us with all this advice. Thank you. For sure. Thanks. Absolutely. All right.